welcome back to Little Z Farm. It is a beautiful, beautiful August morning here in Missouri at um, our new property. I'm actually in the backyard of my dad's house um, where the previous owners had these wonderful raised beds. When we arrived to the property, they had mostly butternut squash growing. Um, we have since you know, harvested all of that squash and um, I'm ready to plant a little fall garden for my stepmom. Um, they've been doing some renovations on the house and things. Um, we will enjoy the abundance, hopefully abundance. <laughs> Um, but I know that my dad and her are really excited to have this space kind of already created where they will do their kitchen garden moving forward. So today I am going to get a little bit of a fall garden planted for them after I clean out these beds. And I'm going to do broccoli, cabbage, um, a couple heads of cauliflower. We're not huge cauliflower eaters, so I really believe in the plant what you're going to eat. Um, I will use cauliflower in things, but we do not eat cauliflower like roasted or things like that. So I got a couple of those plants um, from our local uh, nursery here. Then I'm also receiving lettuce and carrot seeds today, so I'm going to save room for those. And we're just gonna see how this goes. I've never had a fall garden before, um, but these kind of cold weather crops or cool weather crops, when I planted them in the spring, you know, for an early or a late spring harvest or an early summer harvest, they haven't really thrived. So I'm excited to do it this way here in Missouri and see if the fall crop is a lot better. I have never seen this weed before, so I'm not sure if it's a weed or what. Um, it's kind of covering a majority of these beds. I know that I'm not going to be able to plant what I want with it in there, so I am going to take it out. Um, but maybe, maybe it serves a purpose that I'm not familiar with. It's not fragrant, so... kind of interesting because this is a large square box and so accessing the center of it um, I have short arms and uh, I don't know <laughs> how that's going to be possible so I guess I'm going to probably put broccoli in here since it takes up a little bit of space I don't want to waste space so I'm not going to do lettuce or carrots in here because I don't think I can access um, the middle part of this if you're new to gardening and you don't know what a squash bug looks like, that's a squash bug. They're garden terrorists. Okay, so it is about an hour later. <laughs> um, it took me longer to get this mostly weeded and pulled out. And then I decided, because of the cover, this weird, like, it was a beautiful, like, weed cover. I'm saying weed just because I don't know what it is, but the cover was beautiful. But in order to grow the vegetables, I kind of want to drown that out at this point. So I got some um, garden fabric, and I'm going to use that minimally for a couple of these beds. So I'm going to get that done, and then I'm going to get to planting. So I am just kind of moving this soil, um, I guess you could consider this hand tilling, just to break up the soil and the rocks, it's a little bit rocky. I don't know what they used if they, you know, brought soil in here or if they've just been working this over the years, but it's nice and soft. It's just a little bit rocky. joining me. Um, I have this landscape fabric just laid out. It's not tight or anything. My goal with this is to ultimately kill the weed cover that's under here over the winter. But we might as well plant stuff for the fall and see 
how it goes. And we had those squash in here. Yeah, so we're not gonna do squash in here again because when I was ripping everything out in here, it was just like overrun with squash bugs. Like squash I Squash bugs? Yeah. So the squash bugs are, I like to call them garden terrorists because the only way, unless you're not gonna do your garden organically, like really you have to get them and kill them off the plants. Oh, physically? Physically. Um, and there were- Hardcore. Hundreds of them. Okay, where'd they go? Huh? Where'd they go? They In my just... hand. Oh, you killed hundreds already? Well, I mean, I killed a lot of them and then the oh. rest I've, we gotta trash all this stuff okay. out here. So I am just cutting broccoli, like broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower. You want them like 18 to 24 inches apart with rows that are closer to like three feet apart. We like to fudge on that a little bit because we like to get more into less space. Is there a reason for cauliflower to exist? So if you just want to cut a hole here. All right. Looks like about a four inch hole. Uh, yeah, I've tried to do six inches. These will get bigger. We've always used straw. Um, what about these scraps or stuff? We've always used straw, like as weed protection. Um, Next one goes work. Uh, right here, you can do one. So here is our beautiful bed with this landscape fabric. I have some holes. I think I'm gonna make the holes bigger, um, which I could do at any point. I'm gonna moisten this whole thing, uh, till up this uh, soil, just turn it a little bit in the holes before we plant, um, and then get these plants watered in. There we go. I'm just gonna loosen this up so that we can actually get soil out of it. I saw that guy, I was watching a tape yesterday. Or tape, whatever. <clears throat> watching a video. And um, who's that de the dude, that farmer on the Abundance Plus? Justin Rhodes. Yeah, Justin. He's doing like little, uh, making little starter plant things and he plants the seed right on top of the soil. Doesn't, doesn't even push it under the ground. You mean like certain plants? Yeah, yeah. they're on like little, he made them without the little... Oh, oh he took uh, the compost and printed a little thing. Soil was, blocking? Yeah. Like little blocks? Yeah. yeah. Very cool. We can do that next year if we get a... Get a compost roll going? I mean, you've been doing this for a few years now. You've got a, you actually, in, you know, have a lot of knowledge. Or where do you, is this just, is this something you get on the, the internet? We start with videos and books. I mean, Eric and I have a lot of books on homesteading and permaculture and obviously watching videos from people who have been doing this for many many years and share it online which is really nice that's all in the older days you, you just have to lose a whole crop because you don't know right. what you're doing which we have done that too even watching things because what one person does in one area or in their specific part of the world is not going to necessarily be how it works best for someone else you know yeah i mean there's kind of some like tried and true things that are just like overall better right but it's going to be different and you need to do you need to find what is going to work best for your food to thrive basically whether that's the garden or animals basically right now this very time this moment i think in technology is the best time to start growing your own food like people are constantly adding to that right yeah and um 
I just think it's a really good time because there is all this information that's available. Here, let me I have this. for you the magic stick that I believe is connected to the water. Yeah, I got this stick. <laughs> what is this? I mean, I think it's called a wand or something, but you know, it's gonna be magic. You wanna hit the water for me? I have it we'll turned turn off. It on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I gotta figure out how to do it. Woo! Oh Lord! What have I? What is this? Okay. Oh my! Oh, there we go. That was that was rough. That would be another example. <laughs> Died of thirst trying to turn on the hose. Oh. Cool. Like. Wow. Yeah. That's nice. Huh? It's called an invention. Okay. Okay. It's Katie's wearing her deer hunting tank top. <laughs> So we're gonna rifle be, season tank top. Do broccoli in here. It's like a doctor. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't like it when doctors do that. Okay, so here's our little. This is the Pac-Man variety of broccoli. I'm not familiar. You know, it's probably a production variety of broccoli. Um, like. Not heirloom, like a hybrid, probably. So. Yeah, do a mist if you want, could you? Where's the mist? Oh, Why, there, there it is now. Oh, it is. Look at that. There we go. Okay, you so are a big deal. Just gonna mist at the base here. We don't really need to moisten this whole plant so that the sun, typically you'd wanna plant early in the morning or in the evening. Um, I'm going to hold this at the base and squeeze out of the bottom here. So this comes out. I'm going to move this soil in up over to the first leaf. And all these leaves look healthy, so I'm not even going to rip anything off. water it in right so it needs what that is water in? you mean need that moisture you know that's nice and moist a lot of people go through and they plant and then forget to water it right away and just like when you're planting a seedling or planting a seed to make a seedling um, when you're planting it in the ground you need to do that too so I'm just gonna go through and do the rest of the broccoli. I like that dumpster back here? It's nice. Uh, we were able to get the broccoli in. I'm gonna spend probably the next two hours <laughs> trying to get the next bed done. Um, but we'll see how this turns out. Uh, we've never had a fall garden before, we've never used landscape fabric, and I've never used seedlings from this place that I went. And you never used your dad. And I never used my dad, so, uh, yeah. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.